this video, John's going to show you how to take semi-ripe cuttings from Cistus. This is Cistus albidus, common name Sunrose. If you live by the sea, Cistus is a fantastic plant to have in a coastal garden. It's also worth trying them in a container if you have a patio garden or a balcony. Also, they look fantastic in rockeries. Hello, John's been teaching horticulture profession for over 30 years now and on this channel we hope we can help you develop your gardening skills by showing you some propagation tips, by helping you grow some vegetables, by giving you a little bit of pest control and much much more. So if you enjoy learning those things do consider following us, there's no charge, press the subscribe button and don't forget to press the all important notification bell, it just lets you know every time we upload a new video. Good morning everybody, um, today a nice sunny day for a change, we've had a bit of a wet spell but now the uh, the garden's looking good uh, the rain's been very helpful but this we could do a nice nice dry bit now we still can't get to the mediterranean can we because of the uh, the, the covid and all the rest of it so we have mediterranean in our garden in these things like cistus and now is a lovely time to take cuttings of the these these plants this one is actually quite it's got quite big here it's probably in the wrong place i think i might have to reduce it or at least uh, possibly even move it but to be on the safe side i'm going to take some cuttings sisters are also called sun roses um, some people call them rock roses but really rock rose should be used for helianthemum uh, these are the ones you see they're typically in the mediterranean they're lovely uh, whites pinks and, and, and almost red sometimes um, so what we need to do is to look for what we call semi-ripe cuttings now in the spring we took softwood cuttings of things like our garanthums. that was the fresh growth and there's still a little bit of softwood on these you see that's that's a bit soft there but as the plant grows through the year it gets harder it ripens shall we say and uh, the further down here you go you'll find it's 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 it's, 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 it's even more ripe so what I'm going to do is take a cutting off down there like that so there's your cutting put the feather off and we're going to root it on this semi-ripe part here so that's what we mean by semi-ripe uh, we'll pinch that top out because that's that's still soft that will just wilt and won't do any good at all um, but with this one if we can move the spider who's decided to live there we'll put him back so we hopefully he can find somewhere else to live um, and we get about three of those to go in a pot and then we'll take it around the back and make cuttings right here we are we've come around the around the back into the shade what I should have said at the beginning is it's quite important that these cuttings don't dry out. Um, we took them fairly early in the morning to make sure that they were still turgid and they were full of water and they weren't too dry. So they will be all right, but I bought them around here. Um, I wouldn't be working in the full sun, I'm working in the shade for the point of view of the plants. So here we are, um, we've got um, uh, uh, my, my, my compost. I mean, conventionally we had peat and sand as compost. We're not supposed to use peat anymore. So I tend to, 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 to um, uh, sieve a, a, a good garden compost and mix that with the sand instead. And, see, and that seems to work quite well. Got a bit more nu nutrients in the peat as well. The other thing I will say is that um, I'm still using these pots, these, uh, these plastic pots. I don't want to buy any more plastic pots, but what, the ones we've got we might as well use um, to, 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 you know, to, to re reduce the use of, of single-use plastic. Um, so I'll use the ones I've got and when that time runs up then we'll see what else is available. Hopefully there'll be something in the lungs of cardboard or some sort of uh, uh, de decomposable uh, pot that we can use for our, our plants. So here we are at the moment, we've got the plastic one and here's the, here's the compost. We'll fill up the compost, fill up the, the pot, more than like that. It's fairly full. I'm going to take a little bit off because I want to leave uh, room for, for, for watering but it will settle when I start to um, com compress the plants anyway. So um, I use the old chopping board to cut the plants. Right so so here's the here's, here's the cistus plant we took and you can see I cut it just below a node. A node is where the uh, the leaves and the stem come down to the uh, to the main stem. Yeah, it, 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 where the axles are really and in that point you get a lot of co cambium because the, the cambium is the, uh, the, the 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 actively dividing uh, uh, part of the of the actively dividing cells in the plant and they'll that's where the roots will, will originate so if we've got this area here and I just pull these off here look what you've got is left is a, is a little node which uh, has got a big concentrate a big exposure of cambium so that's the point of doing it below a node i'm going to take these here off as well 
because uh, we don't think we'll need those so th those 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 will come off and then coming up the plant um, those leaves are fine those are fine but I'm going to take that mid light because that's still very soft and it probably will wilt anyway uh, and that gives me a nice little cutting that's a perfect little cutting uh, sometimes it helps just to take a bit of the leaf off to reduce the transpiration and there we are and that will that will now go into the pot and I always use fingers people use dippers but just firm it gently and there we are Job done. That's that's the uh, the sister's the sun rose. So we just take, again take the middle out. It's cut below a node, and uh, just take the leaf off like that. Anyway. The, these secateurs are very sharp secateurs, so um, I'm quite happy with them. If if I didn't if I got a, a, scru a bit of a, scru a, a, a scruffy cut, I'd use use a knife, but I don't need to because I've cut below the node. Um, take those off as well those and then take the, uh, the soft bit out the middle like that there's the leaf gone and that goes in there, there we are. What I'll, do, I'll show you this one how I'm going to cut it with a knife just be you see there's the there's there's the node the junction so I cut it just quick clean cut there and that's that's done and these will come off and then the middle will come out because that's still very soft. And that goes in the side. So, easy done. That's our rock ro uh, sorry, our sun roses, um, sisters. They, they, they're often better if they're kept in a close uh, uh, environment. So some people put plastic bags over them. Um, I'm going to actually put a little cover over them, which, I, which I've got especially for this. They'll go on a tray and that will be covered over. They, they do need to be kept warm. Um, They'll have, they'll have a, good, a good watering to start with and then I tend to let them dry out a little bit because that, that encourages the roots to grow out. You can give them a fairly good drench because it's going to go right the way through. And as I said, I shan't give them much more out of this. I shall let them um, uh, uh, encourage them to go out seeking water by not watering them too much. Because that was such a well-drained compost, you can see the water's going away very, very quickly. And if it wasn't going away quickly, I'd be worried. But it is, that's a nice compost. It's all gone now, apart from that one. Yeah, it's all gone, and that's fine. Uh, so we'll, 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 we'll keep, them, keep them warm, but not in the direct sun. They, they, haven't, they won't be able to di deal with the direct sun. So in a sort of a good light, but, but a, a shady spot. And they should be rooted within a, within a month or two anyway. Well, that's all for today. We have enjoyed having you with us here in our Somerset garden. If you enjoyed that, do consider following us by pushing the subscribe button. Don't forget to press the all-important notification bell. It just lets you know every time we upload a new video. Until next time.